Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, merrily, merrily. What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. I know you probably don't wanna hear me sing. I'm not the best singer, better bushcrafter by far. Um, so why am I singing Row, Row, Row the Boat today? Well, a little backstory on it. So what do I do when I'm just home and it's late and there's not much going on? I look up how to tie anchors to rope for boats. Like I, the internet is such, uh, it's just a dark void that just sucks you in that rabbit hole. I mean, you guys found this channel, you know how that rabbit hole works. <laughs> just just kidding, just kidding. Hopefully you found it because you were literally searching for bushcraft when I came up. But uh, no matter what, maybe you found me by accident, whatever. Um, I find a lot of stuff by accident. And the thing that I found today was a special knot for tying boat anchors to rope. Um, now, it's called an anchor hitch. It is, I love it. And here's why I love it so much. For years, when it came to tying like a stationary object to the end of a piece of rope, I used every and any knot that I could think of in my head to do this and generally what would happen I mean it would work okay I never knew like the knot to do this to actually lock this in one or two things happened either if I needed this to be very precise meaning I need the rope to stop at a certain point and then have my end piece on for tensioning purposes or whatever I had to sort of guesstimate and then when I pulled my knot my rope was always too long or too short compared to my item or if I would figure out another knot generally that item if it was a ring like this let's say for a shelter if there wasn't tension on it and it was just loosey-goosey, the knot would loosen up and it never worked real well. So, that's where this knot comes into play. I know that was a lot. That was like, I didn't stop. Okay, let me just show you the knot, how awesome it is, and then you'll know how to use it. I, I'm, I'm gonna use it moving forward all the time. I love it, you're gonna love it too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by taking the cut end of our rope and going over the object and wrapping it around two times. So we should have something that is looking like this. Now we're gonna take our cut end and go over the rest of our line. We're considering this the rest of our line. So we go over that and through the two loops, which we created. Give that a pull, okay? Now at this point, you wanna make sure that your knot is well dressed. A dress knot means that it is organized, it's not overlapping, and it is laying properly. This is what it should look like. Last step to this knot, take your cut end, go back over the rest of your line, like this, and then just come through this way. And give it a little tug. And now, you have successfully tied the anchor hitch. Very, very simple, easy knot to tie. It's quick, and the best part is you can put a huge load onto this thing, and it breaks down really easily the way that it is set up, so you can take this knot out, recover your line if needed. And there you go, my friends, the anchor hitch. Very good knot for knowing to tie stationary objects to the end of your rope that aren't gonna go anywhere. Um, and if you're a boating enthusiast, you can uh, use this for your anchor. And that's it, that's the anchor hitch. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe down below. Also check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for our classes and all our merchandise. And I also have the other channel, Pretty Active. I just started it last week. That is our Cold Cracker Gear channel. Just go um, at Cold Cracker Gear. And it's the items that we make at our shop and that we sell at our shop. I just do a quick review on them. Some are a little bit more in depth. Some are like, hey, this is a bag, this is material it's made of, this is what it's good for. All kind of good stuff. So go check that channel out also. And then uh, that's it. All right, go tie some knots. And until next video, stay in the woods.